皆さんは探究学習と聞いて何を思い浮かべますか探究とは一言で言うと自分で作る学習です。まず自分で疑問に思うことを調べる探究テーマにします。そして次に iPad や本で調べて情報を集めますそして次に調べた情報を整理分析してスライドなどにまとめます最後にみんなの前で自分のテーマを発表します研究ではこの4つの活動を繰り返します授業ではまず自分で目当てを決めることから始まります目当てを決めたらそれぞれの活動をします実験をする子、本を探して読む子、ものづくりをする子など、活動は様々です。先生や保護者サポーターは私たちにより、沿ってくれたり、見守ってくれたり、時にはアドバイスをしてくれます。また、学校を飛び出して、実際に外で体験して学ぶこともあります。そして最後に、その日の振り返りをして、次の目標を立てていきます。探究では自分で進めていかなければなりませんだからこそこの探究をやることで学ぶ力をつけて大人になった時に世界を変えることができる私たちはそう強く思っていますなお、To achieve this goal, lessons must be planned based on clearly defined aims and an awareness of the actual situation of the students. Take basketball, for example. In the first game, the students tested their skills in dribbling, passing, and shooting, and in finding a space when they weren't in possession of the ball. This helped them to identify the problems they faced in achieving their goal. I then decided to develop a unit plan aimed at solving the problems. One small step at a time. In the team meeting after the game, we had a reflection session and a blackboard brainstorming session on strategies for improving their moves based on an awareness of their own and their team's strengths. With time, their skills became more polished, both individually and as a team, bringing them closer to solving the problems that were highlighted in the first game. Nice shit, nice! Oh! At the end of the lesson, there was time for reflection by calling attention to outstanding play, both by individual players and by the team, and praising each other for especially smart moves. They enhanced their motivation for the next time.
Hello, today I'm going to introduce you to Japanese high school and the day in your life by taking our school as an example. Our school was founded in 1924 by a woman who was passionate about girls' education. Since the school system is a combination of junior high and high school, the total number of students is around 900. Every school has its own unique characteristic, and we have so called penshuji. Meaning penmanship. This aims to have beautiful handwriting and knowledge to concentration. Some students submit over 600 pages a year. Now, I'd like to introduce our class types. Depending on the career paths or majors they want to study in university, we are separated into three types of classes Global Studies, which focuses on English learning, Advanced Science, which focuses on science education. And sports science, which focuses on physical science education. This type of class separation is relatively common in private high schools in Japan. Let's move on to events we have annually. We have a sports festival in May, which is held in huge gym that are used for competitions such as the Olympics, and a school festival in September, chorus contest and recitation contest in December, and so on. Besides this, They are also called sewing contests for the best sewing skills, and I think they are very unique. Then, let me show one of the class schedules for grade 10 in Global Studies courses. Classes are 15 minutes long and run from first period to sixth period, with a 10 minute s break between classes. 
This is an example of a day in my class. At the end of fourth period, students have a 50 minutes lunch break. In the afternoon, students have fifth period and sixth period, and the closing assembly begins at the end of sixth period. After the end of the assembly, students are dismissed from school. Students who belong to club activities participate in club after school, usually from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. Bunkyo has so many activities like this. There are 14 athletic clubs and 9 cultural clubs. Now, I'd like to show our school tour. Our school has a very open wooden deck space and a teacher's office in on the left. Going down the stairs, there is a schoolyard that is used for PE classes and club activities. And this is the floor for first and second graders classrooms. We have more computer rooms and we use this when we do research or make presentations. And this is our library and new books are added every month, so we really enjoyed it. Thank you so much for listening. I hope this help, helped you to know about Japanese high schools. This shows school health checkup of a primary school in the countryside of Japan. The Japanese academic calendar spans April to March. In Japanese schools, all children from kindergarten to university should complete the school health checkup by the end of May as required by law. This is managed by the school health room teachers. Types of medical checkup by physicians include internal medicine, ophthalmology, and dentistry. From this point onward, the medical checkup is performed by a school doctor. Besides this, the regular medical checkup in May, an internal medical checkup is also conducted before the road race, even in the school trip. This is to confirm the risk of heart disease. This is a primary school in the mountainous area of Ehime Prefecture of Shikoku Island in the west of Japan. There were 72 children in 2022. Let's focus on the internal medical checkup at the primary school. Once a year, the school health room teacher determines the children's height, weight, and eyesight during the regular health checkup along with that conducted by the physician. In approximately one age, they conducted a medical checkup of 72 children. Handmade teaching materials are posted on the health room wall to celebrate the child's birthday. On the front wall of the school health room, where children wait for their medical checkups, there is a menu table of the school lunches. Information regarding nutritional components of the daily menus. Letters to homes regarding school lunches. Details regarding how to use toilets, hate gauges, and other teaching materials that can facilitate health learning. Besides this, the hygienic management of the entire school, children's health is important. <laughs>